Hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, training session on introduction to integration with Ballerina. My name is Shafrin and I'll be the tutor for this training session. A bit about me. So I've been working with Ballerina team for almost like uh, six years. And at the moment I'm working as an architect. So let's quickly look into the details of the training session. So as the name suggests, we'll be doing integration with Ballerina. So we'll be focusing integration centric features of Ballerina in this training session. And then there are a bunch of areas covered. So before I explain each of these areas, I just want to say that uh, we are going to follow a model where we develop a simple social media service and as we develop that service, we'll be explaining different concepts and features of Ballerina. So that's the model we are going to follow. These are the areas uh, that will be covered while implementing that service. Obviously, uh, we we'll start with the service, a REST service to be specific, and then I uh, will connect that uh, service to a database. And then we'll see how to externalize configuration uh, in Ballerina. For instance, in this case, uh, you might want to externalize host and port of the database. So we'll see how we can externalize that kind of configuration using uh, Ballerina. And then as the fourth point, we'll be discussing about data transformation, which is a quite common requirement in any integration, I would say. So to do this, we'll be using a data mapper, a very interesting feature in Ballerina. And then as the fifth topic, we'll see how how can we use HTTP client to connect and consume uh, remote endpoints? And then, uh, you know, you guys uh, would know already that when you connect over a network, uh, you had to deal with network failures. So we see how we can deal with those failures using Ballerina resiliency features. As the seventh topic, we'll discuss how to write tests. And as the eighth, uh, Topic, we'll see how we can use different connectors to connect to different endpoints. So in this case, we'll be connecting to Slack. And then we'll uh, generate open API specification for a given service. And then from that specification, we'll generate a client stuff. Then we'll see how we can share this client stuff with other developers using Ballerina Central. So, so Central is our depository where, you, where we can share different uh, libraries. So we'll look into that in this section. And then uh, we'll discuss about how to add validations to your inbound and outbound payload. For instance, uh, you can validate if a value of a certain field is an email address or not. Likewise, you can do different validations. So we'll look into those. And as the 11th topic, we'll be discussing about uh, security. Security as in, we'll see how we can connect to a secure endpoint using O2. As the 12th point, again, a very important topic. You guys know, like when you do integration, you could usually get errors. So we'll discuss how to handle errors in Ballerina. As the 13th, Topic we'll be discussing Ballerina concurrency. Again, an interesting topic because uh, Ballerina has uh, nice abstractions to do uh, concurrent programming without going through a lot of trouble. So we'll discuss about those things as well. And then as the last topic, we'll be discussing how to do asynchronous integration using a message broker. So those are the topics we'll be covering. So as you can see, there are a lot of topics to cover. So we're not going to go into the, a lot of details of each of these topics. So if you are interested, you can just do the required uh, background study as needed. So a bit on the prerequisite uh, section. So here, as you have, as you would have already guessed, uh, first we need to install Ballerina. So 
there are different versions of uh, ballerina depending on the operating system just select the one relevant to you and and then follow the instructions so there's nothing much here so i'm not going to go into details of that and then you need to inspect install VS Code. VS Code is the only ID plugin Ballerina support at the moment. So it is essential to install VS Code and then install the Ballerina extension. So let me quickly show how to do that. So if you go to VS Code, you can click on extensions and then you can search for Ballerina and click on the first option and then uh, click on install. In this case, it's already installed. So I'm not going to do that again. Okay, so that's about prerequisites. And then uh, just to give a brief introduction to the scenario we are going to implement, as I explained earlier, we'll be uh, writing a service for a social media site, something like Twitter. So, so you'll be dealing with users, associated posts, and followers. So this is the high-level deployment diagram we need to implement the social media service. As you can see, there, there's a database, there are external services, there's a token service, and then you can see there's a message broker, and then there's this external service, which is Slack. So there are a bunch of external services we need. So we'll be connecting to these services as we develop the social media service. And, and this is the organization of tables in the database. We have users table, post table, and followers table. We'll look into these tables in detail as we follow the video series. I'm just going to skip this part. And um, again, important topic, set up the environment. As I mentioned earlier, there are different uh, uh, backends we need. So we can set up this environment by following this uh, setup environment section. So if you have Docker, it is quite straightforward. You can just say Docker Compose Hub, and it will automatically start the required uh, backend services. If you don't have Docker, again, it's not a problem. You can just manually start each service as you follow each topic in the video series. So I'm not going to go into details of these things because uh, it is quite straightforward, and anyway, we'll be uh, covering this as we do each uh, step. So, okay, so that's about that. Uh, and if I go back, uh, you can find the completed uh, sample code in this uh, location which is a GitHub location. And then uh, finally, if you are interested, there are a bunch of additional learning materials you can follow. Of course, this is these are not mandatory because we'll be discussing these things in this uh, training session as well. All right, so that's about the training session and its agenda. So I hope you are excited as I am to learn about Ballerina and see how it can make your life better. See you in the next video.